Some people ask, why in the world would I want to study chemistry? What is chemistry? Well, to introduce you to this, I want you to imagine that you had the ability to zoom in very closely, focusing on, say, the surface of your skin. If you were to do that and look at what your skin is made up of, you'd notice that it's made of skin cells. If you had the ability to zoom in even further, you'd see smaller stuff, and zoom in further still, you'd see even smaller stuff. This realm, ranging from large cells like the skin cell and going all the way down to things like red blood cells, mitochondria, and chromosomes, is the size realm of research focus for most microbiologists. If we zoom in even further, we start to see things like viruses. We zoom in even further, eventually start to see macromolecules like DNA or a phospholipid bilayer. We zoom in further and we see smaller molecules such as glucose, buckyball, or carbon nanotube. We zoom in even further, we can see cesium, which is the largest non-radioactive element, and an individual water molecule made of a single oxygen atom bound to two hydrogen atoms. Altogether, they look kind of like Mickey Mouse's head. A carbon atom is shown in the upper left-hand corner as well as this spot that's the smallest thing visible to an electron microscope, apparently, and the two smallest elements, hydrogen and helium. Zooming in further, we can eventually see subatomic particles such as nuclei, protons, and neutrons. This is the world of atomic physics. And zooming back out, we see the size realm of interest to general and physical chemists. And why in the world would we care about this stuff? Well, the reason is because ultimately, if we understand the behavior on the atomic scale of these elements, we can explain the large scale physical behavior of the rest of the universe around us. Including us. So I welcome you students to the world of general chemistry.